Hi guys, I'm Rita and I am Digital Accountant. In today's episode, I will share my personal review of coconut accounting software. This review is not influenced by any other opinions or feedbacks or reviews. It's purely my personal review of this accounting software. So coconut accounting software will suit best to, I would say, small business owners. So if you are a freelancer, sole trader, or even if limited company, but very small, you can actually use coconut accounting software to run your business operations, finance side. So if you do not need advanced features, this will be best fit for you. If you have not seen it yet, and I have shared the link in the description section below to my complete coconut accounting software tutorial. So check it out. So talking about this review, this review will consist of multiple points. What I think you need to know or you should consider if you decide to start using it to manage your business operations. So let's start with my review. Mobile app. Happy days for those business owners or freelancers who use their mobile phone a lot. Coconut accounting software has been developed for mobile phone users in mind. It is a mobile phone based accounting software. Coconut accounting software has got web browser based uh, version as well called Coconut Web, but it has limited usefulness. For example, you can issue sales invoices from your mobile app, but you cannot issue invoices from Coconut Web. Also, you can split transactions on mobile app. So, for example, if you have £100 and you need to split uh, between personal and business, you can do it on mobile app, but you cannot split transactions on Coconut Web. So it is a mobile phone based accounting software. Self-assessment. You can submit your self-assessments directly to HMRC from your coconut accounting software. And considering making tax digital initiative by government that will commence from 2024, that is a great feature to have uh, or function to have on an accounting software. However, talking about actual tax calculation summary that Coconut Accounting software provides, I have some concerns. And concerns is because you need to estimate and make a provision of your profit, so not sales, not revenue, but profit from your self-employed business towards, um, towards to decide what tax rate you will need to use for particular tax year. So there is a field called set aside tax rate. Sorry, I noted down because I couldn't remember that field's name. And you need to decide how much profit you will make from the self-employed um, business in this particular tax year, so you can apply a correct tax rate. And that's where my concerns come in because I'm not sure if those tax rates actually include both income tax and national insurance contributions because not only income tax what you need to pay you also need to pay national insurance contributions when you reach a certain profit threshold either you will need to pay uh, based on set amount flat amount per week or as a percentage if you go above certain uh, higher level of profit uh, threshold and this is not explained on coconut accounting software on that tax summary and it's why i'm saying that i have concerns that i'm not sure if that profit bracket will include whole tax what you might need to pay so actual estimate of a tax might be different from the tax what you will be getting or calculated when once you will submit your self-assessment on hmrc However, Coconut provides a custom guide where you can read through about what, what other points you need to take into consideration, like other income, if you have rental income, or maybe you have also student loans, then those will change your tax 
liability or tax what you will need, need to pay for particular tax year um, if you are self-employed but you have all these uh, around um, opportunities or uh, things happening that might impact your tax uh, liability towards the government. Bank connections. You can connect up to five bank accounts or five instances to your coconut accounting software. Each bank account will have separate section with all transactions being pulled automatically through from that bank account. All transactions will be defaulted to personal, so nothing will be going through your business transactions automatically. You will need to review and filter out and sort which transactions relate to your business, uh, self-employed business. Alongside deciding if that particular transaction is personal expense, for example, as expense or business related expense, you can actually split those transactions and decide maybe that half of that amount relates to business and half of amount should stay in personal. Then you have an option to actually choose and add an amount, what you want to take off from this amount and allo allocate to your self-employed business or apply a percentage if you use a percentages to allocate part of costs to your self-employed business. You can do it on coconut accounting software. And I should not forget to mention about one another great feature and that is that if you connect your bank in middle of your tax year, so you would need to review a couple of months or some months or part of a year, so six months maybe, of transactions from your bank account. If you select a transaction and there is similar transactions to this particular transaction, then system will automatically filter them and like recognize or find them for you. So you can click on it and tick them all and say all these expenses or transactions are my business, self-employed business related transactions. That would save a time and it's a very great feature what Coconut Accounting Software provides to make your life um, easier and you do not need to go and review every single transaction um, on your statements. Cost categorization. For every transaction, when you select uh, cost category, you can actually find out more details by clicking what can I claim. That section will provide you more information if you can actually claim this expense as part of your business transactions for your self-employed uh, business. Also, when you click on actually on the expense category to select or change to different cost category. Next to each of these categories, you will have an I letter on the right hand side. When you click on those I letters, there is more details provided to that particular expense category or cost category or income category that you're looking at. And it will give more details about what you can claim and maybe why you cannot claim this one as a business expense. Save receipt for later. Coconut accounting software allows you to save receipts, so take a picture on your phone and attach to your accounting software receipt by providing date, amount and short description about this receipt so you can allocate later it to one of your transactions. As you know, if you pay with credit card, your transactions will not appear straight away in your bank feed. and. It might take a couple days for these transactions to come through. So once transactions will come through, you will be able to allocate saved for later receipt and post this transaction, for example, as part of your self-employed business. But there is one but what you need to be mindful. If you delete a transaction with attached support file, this attached support file or receipt will not go back to cloud it will be deleted forever. To view your saved uh, receipts, you will need to go to transaction section and at the top you will see that little camera icon and from here you will be able to select view saved receipts. You will see all receipts which have been not allocated to your uh, transactions. Maybe you have paid in cash 
uh, for some expenses, for your business related expenses, then you need to maybe post a manual transaction and attach um, this receipt as part of your cash expenses. Privacy and security. Well, originally Coconut had a current account, so it was operating in banking sector. And you know, if you operate in banking sector, you need certain security uh, and privacy criteria or standards met. So having Coconut Accounting software, it has the same banking secure level standard. So when you register on Coconut Accounting software, it's allo allocated to your mobile phone number and your email address. Any changes, you will be immediately notified through message and or through email. If you want to change your email address, you will be notified about that one. And if you have changed your email address, you will be notified about that one as well. So all information about changes and amendments on the account will go through immediately. Also, you will need to set up a five digit PIN code, which you will need to enter every time when you open Coconut Accounting Software mobile app mainly every time. If you have closed it, you will open it, you will need to enter again. So it's like a similar way when you logging on on your bank account and you need to enter PIN codes. It's the same way Coconut Accounting Software works. If you don't feel secure with these all features, you can enable also face recognition if that is um, available on your mobile phone. That you can enable face recognition feature on Coconut Accounting software as well. Yeah, so I think so. You do not need to worry about privacy and security on Coconut. Other considerations. So in other considerations, I have three points what I want to mention. And first point is about pricing. Second is about how transactions are separate from invoices. And the third point is about if you decide to cancel your subscription. So firstly about pricing. So Coconut Accounting Software got only one package. So there is no free package available unless you take 30 days trial. And package is £7.50 per month. And here is my speculation. That's my thinking of forward process. They have announced, Coconut have announced that they have closed their current account because they want to fully concentrate on coconut accounting software development. So I've got worries that the price of 750 might increase in near future, or maybe there might be different pricing packages because um, based on business types, for example, sole traders got different uh, pricing package and limited companies got different pricing package, or maybe on size of the business. Uh, like if your turnover is higher, you will need to pay higher. That's just my speculation. Second point was about transactions and invoices. So transactions are separate function and invoices are separate on mobile app. So if you receive an income, then you will need to record that income as business transaction, but you cannot actually automatically allocate to particular customer invoice. You will need to go manually, mark that invoice as paid. And third point is about cancellation process. It's really simple and straightforward. You do not need to go on the web and try to find information how to cancel. From your mobile app accounting software, when you go to more section, you can cancel your subscription. There is provided link where you can click and fill in form or reach out in different ways if you wish to. So these are three points what are under other considerations, what I think so is important for you to know. Coconut Accounting Software is small and simple accounting software for freelancers and small business owners who actually do not need advanced features like maybe stock management or credit control. I hope you found my Coconut Review useful, but if you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. 
I have shared the link in description section below to my complete coconut accounting software tutorial where I am taking the role as a freelancer blogger and I'm writing articles about travel, food, people, culture and etc. If you have not seen it yet, check it out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next episode.